Okay, so I was gonna make this comparison video of these four amps. It's, I get asked a lot, not for these four, but like say two of them, can you compare the magnetone to the Bartel or the Rift to the something else, you know? And I just wanted to put these four amps in one video. The problem I've got is really loved playing all four of them. And when I'm listening back, yeah, I can hear the differences, but I can also hear the similarities. And rather than talking too much about any of them, I think it's, what I really want to say is this, any of the four of them are amazing. There are some minor differences in how you use them that might affect how much you really get on with them. And that's what I'd look at, right? They all sound great. They've all got lots of clarity. They've all got lots of lovely glassy top end. They've all got just a great sound. What more can I say than that, right? Beautiful reverbs, everything, okay? But here's, let's say, like a reason for each one why I wouldn't get it. The Rift does have a slightly noisy preamp. It's something um, that is just obvious when you turn it on. Now, I think the payoff for that is it's got probably the most interesting sound out of the four of them. And if you're playing in any context with other instruments, you're not gonna hear it. It's just an amazingly beautiful sounding amp full of harmonics, but it does have that preamp noise. <laughs> Bartel has an odd way of setting it, right? It's not just a normal set and forget amp. The, the preamp changes completely between like a Marshall, a Blackface Fender, a Tweed Fender and a Vox, depending on where you put the controls and they're not intuitive. So you need to get used to it. Like I sold one of these because I couldn't get used to it. And now I've got one back. I thought, okay, I know what I'm doing with it. But do you want that aggravation? The payoff? Overall, the best Tweed amp I've played, I think. The character of the sound in the room is just incredible. The way he builds the cabinets and everything, it's just something truly special. So if you want the ultimate best sound in that sort of hi-fi sense, maybe this is the one for you. Vintage Deluxe. Now, like with most dumbly things, the annoyance here is that it can be a pain in the ass to set the sound you want. And as soon as you move away from it, you're thinking, shit, where did I put that knob before? And wh where was that dip switch? And it can be a pain in the ass to get used to this. Um, on top of that, I don't like this one by 12 combo, but when I plug it into the three by 10 I've got also by two rock, it sounds amazing. In this video, it's in the one by 12. And it's only really apparent when you play the two next to each other, but. This combo has a slightly harsh sound. I don't like the recorded sound as much. Uh, and in the room, it doesn't sound as big and good as these other three amps. 
fix that by getting a head and cabinet, whether it's the one by 15, the one by 12 or the three by 10, I've heard that the head and cab option just does sound better for this amp. And the Magnetone, uh, the big downside, no master volume, and it's really loud. So I'm using an attenuator here. Um, ultimately, the payoff here is that it is uh, the least expensive of these amps. It might be the coolest looking one, depends on your taste, but I love the look of it. I think it's just a piece of furniture, great living room amp, uh, but you'll need to invest in a great attenuator. I'm using the Fry PS100, which is a great attenuator. So if you add that cost on, you're looking at another thousand pounds roughly. And then to be honest, if this was a bit of furniture in my living room, I'd want the attenuator in a nice head unit of its own to look like the magnetone. So I'd be paying someone to do that. That light's just gone off. Uh, it's run out of battery. <laughs> Really, that's all I wanted to say in this video because uh, doing yeah, it's all well and good doing like the deep gritty looks at each amp but for this one you might just be able to pick one like that from what you hear I'm playing my Dale Wilson master built strat I'm gonna kick on the Dominion fuzz in germanium mode and the midnight vibe by R Weaver FX in a minute and you're gonna hear that um, but really choosing one of these four amps is really difficult but also quite easy because they all sound incredible. Just think about what I've just said in terms of the positives and the negatives. Okay, I'm off to NAMM tomorrow, so that's why this video is a bit of a rush. I was invited by Peach. I'm really excited by going over there. Um, I'm going to meet Surfy Industries to get a reverb unit off of them, which is really cool. And I just can't wait to see T-Rock and finally meet Eli, who I've chatted with a few times. And there's loads, gonna be loads of exciting stuff. I'm probably not gonna do any content from there, but I might just take some pictures or some few clips that I can put into a video about it uh, next week. But anyway, um, you might not see me for a week or so. So uh, have a good one. Cheers. <laughs>